Rumble from the Dung Heap, everybody. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> a lot of my friends. <laughs> There he is. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, everybody. And we live. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hi everybody. Hello, hello. Long time no see. Wow, I missed you guys. It's been, I can't believe it's been two days. Well, yeah, uh, so much has happened in the past two days. <laughs> yeah, it's been a whirlwind. So first of all, what was it? Saturday, I did the stream with um, the illustrious. Uh, <laughs> it was so much fun with uh, Sarasota Jerry. And then uh, Sunday was crazy because uh, my phone finally just quit. It just quit. So Duncan and I ended up spending on and off, I'd say about five hours in the Verizon store. And we got uh, two free phones and a free, uh, what do you call it? A, I don't even know what this thing is. Oh, it's a iPad. Yeah. So I got an iPad, which I don't know what to do with, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I heard it's really good to do thumbnails and stuff on and I'll see what I can do. And I got a new phone. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's supposed to be purple, but it sort of looks whiteish. But it's uh, yeah, it's got glitter on it. So, and I've had a pretty much a full charge on it for the past couple of days. I couldn't believe it because my my other phone would not hold the charge. It was seven years old. So so yeah, I'm in business. <laughs> I'm in business. Hey everybody. Hey Anna. Yeah, Mama Bears, and tell you i have been trying to keep up with all of the comments and emails i got coming out of my ears i'm really really trying to keep up with the emails thank you everyone that's reaching out i love you all i think it's uh it's just wonderful the community that we have it really is and i brought back some thumbnail or i'm not thumbnails uh some emojis um someone wanted the pot and kettle emoji so that's back that's back and the opinionated onion is also back <laughs> so i have to switch them out because i only get so many per per uh members per cups so so yeah here we are <laughs> so i went into i had a little adventure this morning before i popped on here and for the first time in 17 years i actually went to the various buildings that I used to uh, stay at or go attend for Door of Hope. There were four different buildings that were either rented or bought by Door of Hope over the years. And I, if I have to go by there in the past 17 years, I usually just kind of go by and don't, don't look, you know, I don't go up that way super often. I mostly go down towards Massachusetts, but when I do have to go by there, I get really creeped out. But I, I think I'm ready. I, I did. Well, I guess I was ready because I did it. I did it. And uh, oh, sorry, there's a, there's a weird shopping bag behind me. I got distracted all of a sudden. I'm like, what is that? I thought it was a trash bag. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you some little video clips that I took. And you'll get to kind of see the little uh, hollow slash valley I live in. And I actually took I was talking to my mods this morning and they said, oh, are you going alone? You know, you should bring Duncan with you. And I thought about it and, you know, he's hiking and I thought about bringing the dogs, but they would definitely blow my cup. Definitely. And, you know, that little area there does not get a lot of visitors. And you'll see in the video, like people were kind of like looking out, like what's going on, right? All I was doing is walking on the road with my phone. No big deal, but it is a big deal around here. So I, I did strap uh, Rodney and... <laughs> and Raymond in, in the seat belt, uh, in the passenger seat next to me. <laughs> and so, uh, they went along the ride with me. They were my, uh, emotional support, uh, 
Rodney emotional support penises. I don't know. They were like next to me in the car. So uh, I'll show you those. And uh, I just want to say hello. Did it feel cathartic? Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. I, I pulled over after I saved the actual building that they live in now for last. And it's on what's called an access road, which is uh, part of the, it's called the George Aiken wilderness. <laughs> and Duncan used to have me hike around that, you know, those mountains, the wilderness. And I used to call it the George, oh, my Aiken ass wilderness because, or oh, my Aiken knees, oh, my Aiken legs, oh, my Aiken everything. So the George Aiken wilderness. Yeah. And that's an access road. So I kind of pulled in there and I, I didn't, I didn't have like a good, a big cry. I was just kind of like, okay, so that happened <laughs> and you'll, you'll kind of see that as well. So, uh, say hello to you all. I miss you guys. Great to see you all coming in. Hello. Hello. We've got pause for Andrea. I'm so excited for you, Kelly and your whole family. Me too. I can't wait. I can't believe two days, two more days. It's going to be a fab fabulous with a lovely multi-talented Kelly Copter. Yes. I hope she gets some rest while she's here. I mean, we'll, we'll do a lot of things, but also if she needs some uh, downtime, plenty of downtime in the holler here. So, but we have some plans. We're going to, we're going to go to karaoke one night at, a, at what I call a dive bar. <laughs> and uh, we'll do a lot of music with the kids. We'll have dinners and, and just do a lot of exploring. There's a lot of, uh, little mountain areas I want to take her to. I actually grew up on a mountain. Um, it's called Florida Mountain, which is funny because she's coming from the state of Florida. And on Florida Mountain, the the sign that says, welcome to Florida, there's a palm tree and a snowman. So I totally want to get a picture of her in front of, in front of the welcome to Florida sign. And yeah, um, there are a lot of beautiful views we'll take pictures of, I know, or, you know, even video of, I know she wants to, uh, do some uh, exploring uh, near Door of Hope. She's she's saying she's going to knock on the door. So uh, I'll probably be hiding in the bushes. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's brave. She's going to do that. And uh, she was talking about interviewing my children. And I know that they'll definitely be willing to talk to her. I know my daughter already said that she would. So yeah, it's going to be so much fun. The week's going to fly by, but I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm excited. And she's coming in in a couple days. And I, I'm going to try to live stream with this. So if she doesn't mind when we pick her up at the airport, uh, that would be awesome to, to uh, have you all, you know, there. <laughs> I think that would be, that would be great. So uh, you got going round in circles. Hi there. It will be like if we visited you alongside Kelly, much love right back at you. And yeah, yeah, it'd be really cool. It'll be like a, yeah, big, uh, big meeting. And you guys can see where I live and, and what's up here. Not a lot that's up here, but uh, yeah, we got a poet. Good afternoon. Close enough here for government work. Uh, as always says, Brian, what are you doing today? What are you up to? <laughs> hey, Susan P. Great to see you. Lilith, good afternoon from the finally not raining. I know it rained for four or five days. I know it's finally nice. Are you up north? I can't remember where you said you live, Lilith. Or no, you're, are you Southern Vermont? Maybe we can meet up. That would be awesome. Yeah, email me. All right, we got Ison. I've got a picture from you. I've got some pictures to show you as well. George Massey, one of my fabulous mods. Marilyn had an interesting field trip. Yes, I did. Yes, I'll tell you all about it, and I'll show you some, some footage as well. Am I missing anybody? We got, I thought I saw Stacey Spiria. I saw, I saw, I know you're here, so just saying hi. Oh, here we are. Good evening, everybody. Make sure you hit that like button. Yes, please. Like and subscribe. That would be wonderful. We got Buffy Summers. Great to see you. Hello, hello. No talk, Tony. Hello there. Mandy, great to see you. Great to see you. Lilith, yes. Quite a field trip. Let's do it. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Fuzzy pink handcuffs. I love that. <laughs> I love that name. That's so funny. So excited. Thank you. Yes, I am so excited too. Yeah. 
Good morning, everybody. And Rodney, if he's here, I think I left them in the car. I got to unstrap them. <laughs> um, and I'm working on one for, for Kelly. It's getting there. It's almost done. Hopefully it'll be done before she gets here. If not, definitely. I was thinking maybe we could greet her at the airport with it. <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know. We got Calico26. Hi there. And you got the clown, the pot and the kettle. Oh, yes. The pot and kettle and uh, the opinionated onion is back and the dumpster fire. I decided to keep that one. I just thought that was so funny. We got Dragon Maid or Dragon Mod. Hi there. Good to see you. Good to see you. I said, comment, Marilyn, I hope you take care of your mental health. Yes, thank you. I... I've been taking it in, you know, in little, little steps, right? It's been, I can't believe it's been like 10 months since I've had my channel and over a year since I've been talking about things, Door of Hope. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, um, the last two days, I I took off um, streaming um, mostly because I needed, I needed that mental health break. I mean, I missed, um, seeing y'all and talking to you all, but, um, honestly, you know, we joke around a lot and, um, we have fun with some of the ridiculousness, the, uh, the nonsensical nonsense. Right. But honestly, um, you know, I know I've been in a little bit of a troll phase because of, <laughs> because of the whole aftermath foundation thing. It really, you know, what it really burned my biscuits. Right. And, um, I don't, I don't pay attention to what's going on in, you know, different chats and different videos and all the, the crappy drama and everything, but people do send me screenshots, which I never ask for them. I never really want to see them, honestly, but, um, yeah, there's been a lot said about me lately and it's just like, you know what? I am who I am. I'm not, I don't think any of this defines me as far as like even joking about things like that's how I deal. But for me, I felt like that was something I really was passionate about talking about the nonprofit aspect of things and the, um, you know, the aftermath thing, it really bothered me. So yeah. So I want a little bit of a troll fix. Um, there's some people that are expecting me to, um, react to all the foolishness out there. There's people that are expecting me to quote attack because supposedly I'm a, I'm a certain uh, creator's attack dog, which uh, no, I, I never consult anybody when I say anything. I say what I say, right? So um, I feel like I'm not, I'm not here to just comment on every crappy thing that's going on in the background. And I feel like um, I want to move on from that because there's so many exciting things happening. There's so many things with like all the protests and the, I was watching, you know, clips from the, the squirrel fest and the Clearwater crew and the squirrel squad in LA. Like that's, that's where my attention is turned now. You know, I, I feel like whatever's going on in the underbelly of whatever discord and all that crap, like what? I don't even care. I don't even care. So, um, yeah, if, you know, if I, if I get to be my bonnet again, maybe I'll say something again, but right now, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just looking forward to Kelly coming. I'm, you know, talking to all of you. I've got, you know, other things, uh, going on. So, um, yeah, I'm moving on. I feel like, you know, just let them, whatever, whatever. I think we have a great community. I think things are going well. And uh, for some people, they don't like that. So, you know, whatever. So I just wanted to say that um, I did take I did take some time off to just kind of reflect on the direction I'm going in and just get away from all the BS and the drama. So anyways, but thank you. I said I'm definitely... Uh, I'm definitely thinking about my mental health. And this morning I uh, kind of did a little bit of a, uh, like a check, like, okay, do I want to go on to the next building? We'll see. And then I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I can do this. And in some ways I'm kind of glad I did it alone because um, I could kind of reflect, you know, within myself. And uh, it was kind of like facing my, no pun intended, facing my demons. 
and you'll you'll see um i'll show you one of the buildings where uh the the building when i was first called the jezebel so uh yeah that'll be exciting so thank you fibro gal for maryland taking back the power appreciate that hey yarn prepper great to see you hello hello hi everybody nancy t oh you've been on the that access road really the from the george aiken well there's a couple of roads that go in there um there's one up on uh woodford mountain there's prospect mountain there's all kinds of mountains around us and you'll see some of those but yeah this is the i think it's called the hartwellville access yeah ck Rarden, hi there i've always been curious about going back to my former call but have been afraid granted it was located in sao paulo brazil which is a bit of a hike but my main fear is triggers did you experience um yeah i i have before i mean today was not too bad um like i said i've been kind of doing it in baby steps and i live three and a half miles almost four miles not not even you know five miles from my former cult and um i'm always i'm always like aware that it's there but i don't um try not to think about it but then i was like you know what i'm gonna face it and it was okay it was okay but everybody's sprint so um i could you know i was right on a road so i could just jump in my car <laughs> and leave so uh yeah just um just take take care of yourself and uh you know not until you're ready i would that's what i would say yeah Ah, pause for Andrea. True story. I woke up a few times last night, had your son's song from your intro going through my, my mind. Oh, that is awesome. I'll tell, I'll tell the boys. They'll be, they'll be happy to hear that. That's great. And uh, Kelly's live stream yesterday was so fun. She's such a special person. She really is. She really is. And yesterday was my daughter Haley's birthday, 26, 26. So we've had, uh, ever since she's turned, so this was what, this is the fifth year. When she turned 21, we started going to this little uh, diner, like up on another mountain. And uh, we, we always, we've been going there for five years. And the reason is because five years, when she turned 21, we went there for mimosas and pan and blueberry pancakes. And they've got the little like wild blueberries and the little tiny blueberries that are just so, so sweet and really, really good and real maple syrup. So we went there yesterday. We had our, we had our little mimosas and I actually had eggs Benedict, which I haven't had in forever. And yeah, so we went there and on the way back, a very spotty service on the way home, but I was watching. We were all, we were actually all watching, uh, besides Duncan, because he was driving Kelly's stream. So that was great. Lilith, comment. Glad to hear you were able to face it. I bet it felt good in ways. Vermont rocks for scenery. Hey, if Kelly needs someone to bust down the door with her, I'll make time. All right, then. <laughs> I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Traveling by proxy to the hollow. Right. It's, yeah. And I guess I have, I have to, you know, stay for, for the people, for the purists. It's not the holler. It's, it's a holler, I guess. <laughs> oh, CK, thank you so much for the super sticker. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I have a new member. Yay. Pippi Longstocking forever. Yay. Thank you so much. I have a new cub. Oh my God. That's amazing. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. And I'll, I'll tell you what, what you get for uh, the $2.99 a month. I've got all these emojis <laughs> so you can access them. And I do some uh, members. Uh, well, I won't say members only. I put them out for members early, uh, different videos that I, that I do. And then I'll make them public a day or two later. And uh, yeah, I've got some other things I've been thinking about doing for members, but I also don't want anyone to feel left out. So I just give the members, you know, certain perks and then, and then open them up to, to the public. So yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Thank you, Bonnie Lucas. I can't wait. Yeah. Kathy Scoggins, 
Take all the time you need for your own health. We got you when you're ready. Thank you. SPTV, yes. Receipt, opinion, onion, cup, cup. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate that because oh, my my goal is to stream at least uh, five times a week, you know, take a couple of days off. And I don't usually take two consecutive days off, but um, I really, I really felt like I needed to do that. Plus, I was, uh, my phone was dead and it was my daughter's birthday yesterday. And so there was a lot going on. And then I've been cleaning the house and doing a lot of, a lot of prep for Kelly to come. And yeah, so, um, it's been really busy and <laughs> I'll share this with you guys. So, uh, so speaking of like humor and trolling and everything, Kelly and I have been talking about doing this whole like medley type thing with village people songs for, um, you know, to like a parody for Scientology. And I was writing some more of the lyrics. And so we're going to do uh, in, in the Sea Org uh, to the tune of In the Navy. And then uh, Scientology instead of YMCA, like, Scientology. So I'm getting little clips of things. She's getting clips of things. Um, I, um, I'll tell you a little secret. I hope my boys will cooperate. I think they will. I think Kelly will convince them. I ordered some uh, little... Uh, um, costumes yesterday. So that should be really fun. We'll have some fun with that. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to, um, think of like a subtype of uh ship situation. So I have some ideas for that. So when it all comes together, it might take a little while, but I think it'll be really, really fun. So, Hey, Lori plays. Hey, I was going to say, I've been watching you, but that sounds kind of creepy, but yes, I've been watching you. <laughs> so good to see you. One of the Clearwater crew. Love it. CK, uh, Rarden. Oh my God, so close. You're so brave. I moved thousands of miles away. I don't blame you. Sometimes I wish I had. Um, but I don't really consider myself brave. I just consider myself, I don't know, like lazy. I don't know. <laughs> it's like moving is a lot. But I don't, we, we kind of got attached to this little house. and um. Yeah, and in some ways, I was like thinking, like, "Geez, why should I move? They should move," you know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Plus, we have, you know, we had some family around here, everything. Oh, Maria de Musti. Hi, everyone from Greece. Oh, I don't know if we've had, any, had anyone from Greece yet. Great to see you. Welcome, welcome. Tyson, uh, question, being constantly in the vicinity of the cult must be exhausting, I imagine. Are you able to keep your mind at ease? Um, I feel like I am now, but in the beginning, you know, the whole dung heap thing and the threats and, I mean, they didn't threaten us physically. It was like, God is going to get you. That was, that was really hard. I mean, honestly, I couldn't really even go outside in my, my yard. Um, for a few years, I would just, I would either go in the back or I'd like run outside and get, throw the kids in the car and, and leave. Cause I was so afraid of them driving by. Cause our, our road is really close to the, and they have to go by, um, our house to go anywhere. So I just, yeah, I was afraid they would like put curses on me. It was really, it was really tough for a few years. And then it got easier. It definitely got easier. Hey, Gretchen. Great to see you, friend. Hi, Marilyn. So glad you're live. I am too. <laughs> missed you in your streams. Thank you. I missed all of you. Great to see you. Oh, we've got Nancy, <laughs> Cape Breton, Breton Lioness. I love that. We got all the emojis. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Great to see you. Atkins in Texas. Hi, just now getting here. Good to see you. That's okay. We're actually still kind of just getting started, really. Saying hi because it's been a few, it's been a few days. Steffi Bauer, that sounds like fun. We're gonna have a great fun. Jojo, it's my daughter's birthday yesterday as well. Oh, really? Tax day, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. She was Haley was due on Mother's Day that year, but she was born on tax day. She was three, three and a half weeks early. So she was considered a preemie. Uh, just going down the line. Hey, good to see you, Carrie. Hello there, friend. Great to see you. Nancy T, I use the access road off Route 9 in Woodford. Yep, 
I know where that, I know right where that is near uh, Woodford State Por Forest. And that's actually, Duncan loves to swim there. And it is so cold. I don't know if you've been to the state park there, but it is so cold. Oh, hi, Mama. Great to see you. I've been popping in and out of your streams. I'm sorry I've been lurking because I'm so afraid to, <laughs> if I say something that I'm like, oh, I, you know, I don't want to miss anybody's, uh, you know, comments, but uh, I've been listening to you and, and Susie. Oh, and everybody. So glad to see you on here. Okay. Lori plays. You're going to have so much fun. Kelly is a very special gal. You're going to love her. I know. I can't wait. I'm getting, I'm getting a little emotional. I know I'm going to cry when I see her. <laughs> yeah. Kate Breton, question, is tax day the same day, the same day every year in every state? Yeah, I think so, right? Uh, at the IRS, like, that's the deadline that you have to have your taxes filed by the 15th, unless you have an extension. I think one of my sons had to do an extension because he didn't get it. He's a little bit of a pro procrastinator. Yeah. Anna, question, will you bring back the Ask an SP vis? videos. Miss, I'm sorry for asking. Oh no, that's okay. Yes. I really do want to do that. Um, I still have some notes on that and some subjects that I want to do. And I'd like to interview some of the protesters and I definitely want to do the Ask an SP again. Yes, I will work on that. There's so many things um, I want to bring back. The, the cult leader's toolbox at some point too. So thank you for reminding me. I will work on that. Eck is in Texas. Loved your post of Like a Glove, Beautiful Music, Amazing Humans. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to it. Um, yeah, it's on my videos. It's the full video, the full song with the full band. So um, the boys played at a place called the Stationery Factory uh, last Thursday, and it was great. They did three sets. They did three hours. And uh, it was awesome. It's, the sound was so good. I think I think this was like their best performance yet and their sound guy actually is a friend of theirs by the name of Abe Guthrie and he is the grandson or great grandson of Woody Guthrie and his I don't can't remember if it's his dad is Arlo or grandpa of that I gotta ask Austin because he looks a little bit young so I'm not sure if he's Arlo's son or grandson but he's a friend of theirs uh, they perform together and he does the sound for the, for this place. So he was amazing. And he's, he's an, a musician. Of course, he's a Guthrie. But if you, if you've never heard of him, um, Woody Guthrie was a folk singer and he, uh, what are some of his famous songs? Um, I think he wrote, uh, this land is your, like this land is your land. This land is my land from California to New York Island. Oh. Okay. I'm not very good at that. Um, our, and Arlo Guthrie did the famous uh, Alice's Restaurant. Like, you can get anything you want is Alice's Restaurant. And it's not really about Alice's Restaurant. <laughs> it's uh, It was a Thanksgiving tradition. We would listen to it every year. And it was so funny because my kids really loved, the, you know, Johnny Cash and Arlo Guthrie and all that. And uh, they got to meet Arlo. So actually, my brother-in-law has uh, land or had land that uh, well, they call it a butts the prop his property is he has he has a home at least one or two homes only about an hour from me so I'm I'm talking and talking I guess yes what he wrote this land is your land yeah yeah I live close very close to the Berkshires <laughs> this is a Berkshire Helping Hands is our is my nonprofit and uh yeah there there's so many um let's see. Christopher Reeves had a house, so he's passed away now. But he had a house close, about 20 minutes from my house, 25 minutes. Um, who else? Um, let's see. James Taylor plays at Tanglewood all the time. Uh, this year, who are we going to see? Duncan's not in the chat. I can't remember who we're going to see, but somebody famous. <laughs> I've never actually never been to Tanglewood, but I heard it's really nice. Woody Guthrie wrote novels. I didn't know that. Like, Jesus, you sent doggy pics? Okay, did you email them to me? I haven't seen them yet, but I will look. I will look. Who else we got in here that I'm missing? Mary Reno. 
Oh, Massachusetts, Maine, and a couple others get an extra day for taxes. Monday is Patriot. Oh, that's good to know because Austin lives actually lives in Massachusetts. So um, I'll let him know because I think he's filing today. So maybe he'll be okay. I hope so. Guthrie's are quite the musical family. Yes, they are. Hey, Mexican long hair. Great to see you. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Hey, if you ever want to on a stream, I'd love to interview you about your about your protesting. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah. Like it up, like it up. Okay, let me show you some of these little videos. So let me know if you can hear them. Um, I actually sent them to Duncan on, on Messenger. So I hope I hope it works. I gotta just remember to unmute them. But so this first clip, I tried to do it in chronological order. So I went um, to the middle building first because I, I'll show you, I'll show you the different buildings I went, but they're all like within, you know, I don't know, hundreds or thousands of feet from each other. Not, not very far at all. And it's this little dip in, um, well, there's lots of little hollers around here, I guess. And it's between two towns, between my town in the town of Reedsboro. And it's just a little village called Hartwellville. And that's where the old coach Inn was and this historical church. Um, this church building that I'm going to show you now was the first place that Door of Hope rented. And it's beautiful historical church building. And there was like what they call a parsonage next to it. And I actually lived there when I first came to Door of Hope. I lived there for a little bit less than a year. And then we moved to the old coach Inn. So I will show you this video. And uh, hopefully the sound will be okay. And you see that? Let me know if you can hear it. And it's right on the road. So I walked down. Sorry about the, the sound quality is probably not good because the wind was really picking up. But I can narrate some of it. And just give me, you know, some uh, comments and questions if you have any questions. So here we go. This is the first building. Uh, see, there's no shoulder. So <laughs> I'm just walking on the dirt here. Oh, let me show you real quick. There's some ponds over there that we used to swim in until the beavers took it over. Can you hear and, it okay? Uh, one of them, can't really see from here. It's kind of far but to see, but we used to swim in there. And uh, it was one little respite that we had. I hope this isn't too shaky, guys. But I'm going to show you the old church building. It used to be a church. I think it was also a one-room schoolhouse back in the 17, 1800s. And when I first heard about Door of Hope, my mom, my adopted mom said, oh, you've got to come to this beautiful, this Bible study in this beautiful church building. And this is where Marlene lived at first. Let's pick it up. up on it. And I, I don't know exactly when it was built. It was actually really nice inside. A lot of these things are getting kind of worn down. Oh, somebody's outside. <laughs> well, they don't get much many visitors. I don't know if you can see the person <laughs> over there, but I lived in that building too when I first came to Door of Hope. It's an old farmhouse. I guess they call it a parsonage. But there's no, there there's no real church here except Door of Hope down the road. So this is. This is the church building and it had rooms upstairs and it had like a little office kind of thing in the front. And uh, yeah, this was the place I was first called the Jezebel. And the first got demons cast out of me, I guess it didn't work too well. And that was the building that I also lived in. I, didn't, I never lived in this one, but yeah. So the wind's picking up, so you can't really hear it, but I was talking about how uh, this was the place where I was first called the Jezebel. <laughs> this is when we, we first had our our first, quote, services, Bible studies, whatever, in here. And I I used to, you know, of course, we always had to do all kinds of work, grounds and everything. There used to be a whole row of rose bushes here. And I was talking about the church, the, the house, the parsonage house next door that I lived in. <laughs> You couldn't really hear it because the wind was so bad, but I uh, I took these like, they were primrose 
primroses, I think. They're the old roses, the old fashioned roses that smell really good. Maybe they weren't primroses, but they smell really good. And I, we had this book, I don't know if you ever heard of it, called uh, Back to Basics. And there were a couple pages in it that taught you how to make perfume from roses, from rose petals. And you would like press them in this like, I don't know, like this sort of lard type stuff. And it went rancid and it got moldy. And so that was the end of my perfume making. But I had a lot of time on my hands uh, at Door of Hope. So uh, yeah, I did a lot of things like that. Um pressing flowers and my Bibles and all kinds of stuff. So, so yeah, so that was the first building. And let me just check on the chat, see if you can still see it. It sounds like home with the wind. Yeah. Lots of wind. Yeah. This one was, um, it got run down for a little while, uh, Brian, but, uh, someone bought it. That's really, uh, taking good care of it. I'm glad they're restoring it because it was, it was owned by someone for a while. I remember his name, first name was Terry and he was, uh, a, um, ambassador or he worked at, yeah, he was an ambassador to Afghanistan. And uh, I remember he gave me, I still have these little, uh, beautiful handmade like handkerchiefs and, uh, sequined little, uh, their camels and then, their uh, Christmas ornaments, but yeah, he, he kind of uh, left it abandoned for several years, but now someone's bought it to fix it up. And the personage is really, really run down. I wish they would fix that up. So then I go over to the inn. I drove over there, which I could have walked, but it's, it's a really dangerous uh, curve right around the corner. But as you'll see, I, <laughs> I park in a really strange spot. I was a little, I was a little worried about the cars, but okay. So let's move on here. I hope you can hear. Okay. And I think I had some pictures in between. Oh, that's the voice. Oops. <laughs> and that was the, okay. So I did try to get a close up of the ponds we used to swim in before uh, the beavers took over with the dams. So there's some nice, so yeah, it's really hard to pull up over, uh, pull up against the curb. So I parked in front of the inn and there's a long sloping uh, lawn and I didn't want to get too close. I just didn't feel ready, but I will when Kelly's with me. So uh, let me see if I can play the video and I got to make sure the sound's on. Hey, here we are right around the corner from where we just were. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> my car is a little bit in the road because there is no shoulder. So... <laughs> Anyways, here we are. That's the inn. Let's see if I can cross the road. It is uh, no shade on the new owners, but it really was in much better shape when we lived there because there were so many of us that uh, we you know, they got a lot of free labor out of us and Duncan yes, did again. an amazing job taking care of it. So, wow. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. I'm, I guess I could get a little closer. Just there's this big lawn here, but that's a secondary road. Um, when Kelly gets here, we'll definitely drive up to it. And she says she's gonna knock on the door. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> it'll be interesting. So uh, yeah, they've since put windmills up on the mountain. That's Mount Searsburg. And uh, over here is an old cemetery. I used to kind of walk through the cemetery and uh, that was a little creepy. There's a lot of stones that are uh, uh, for babies. Like uh, they had a some type of plague and they were, I don't know if it was a black plague. I don't know what, what uh, pandemic it was, but it was uh, early 1800s. And it's so sad seeing the rows of little babies, uh, their, their tombstones. And uh, here comes the truck. Great. And down there is the two ponds that we used to swim in and uh oh somebody's somebody's coming in this road so i'm gonna go over here <laughs> yeah so there's the inn and uh i'll stop it for now and we will go to the current door of hope okay so i did i did go over to the cemetery took a little picture there duncan used to mow the lawns there <laughs> and weed whack and all that. And I used to help him sometimes. So that's the, the old Hartwellville uh, cemetery. I think that's what it says. 
I can't see too well. 18. Yeah, I'm not sure what it says, but yeah, early 1800s. And so from there, <clears throat> I went past the inn again, the old coach inn, which is owned by someone else now, a big family. We're going to knock on the door and see if they'll let us in. I'm not sure. Um, it's like I said, no shade on, on the new owners, but it's a lot to take care of, but it really is run down. We had it, we, we had it pretty nice, but we would work constantly on that building constantly. And then, uh, in order to get to the quote, new door of hope that's been there for close to 20 years now, we, I had to go buy the other houses, but of course I didn't want to drive and, and stream or drive and video, but I did turn it on when I got to the access road. So I will play that for you. There it is. Oh, let me, the sound Actually driving on the real road. Okay, here we are. Don't worry, I'm not actually driving on a real road. Oh, it's very bumpy. This is just a kind of a secondary driveway access thing. It's, what, it's called an access road. Well, that's so it. So this is Door of Hope. This current Door of Hope. This is the building that Duncan helped buy. Uh, so it's just, you know, an average size farmhouse now. It has a big, or like a giant living room in the back. But I think there's only like three bedrooms, a dining room, an office, a kitchen, and a giant living room, and uh, like a closed-in porch up there. And there's no sign. This is supposed to be operating as a church. It's a 501c3, and there's no sign out front. So I think that's interesting. So it would be interesting if a certain pink-haired person, you know, knocked on the door on Sunday during Sunday services and said, hey. You know, is this, is this a church? You know, is it open to the public? Because uh, I don't think they really should be tax-free for the past 20 years if they're not actually operating as a church. So we keep going a little bit. There's no sign out here. There's a, yeah, a dish. Uh, no cars there. We're breaking all this. So that's the farmhouse. That Garage looks farm empty. That's all that's left to it, just that farmhouse. We don't know who's living in there. So, uh, so last I knew, um, if anyone has heard my, my story, there was of course Marlene and then two other older ladies. One of them has since passed on and the other is still alive. I think she's still living in that house and door of hope. And I'm not sure if Marlene's in a nursing home, I believe she's still alive. I'm almost positive that she is because if she had passed, I, I would have found out, um, through the grapevine. But yeah, I, I don't know who is there and what's going on, but people that have gone uh, past there on Sunday mornings say there's usually a few cars there. So I uh, kept going a little going bit. Here. And that's, and yeah. that's the road that I came from. I live right up that road. So I clocked it at about four miles. So uh, this is, oh, it says road close. So I'm just going to go over here. This is where the snowmobiles come. It's a logging road. It's an access road. And I'm just going to park here for a minute and talk to y'all. Hopefully nobody comes and kicks me out. You can see there's still little patches of snow. <laughs> a little dirty snow. Dirty snow. So, okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what else I have. How's everybody doing? Let me go back to the screen. Everybody hearing it okay? Hey, Poe. Good to see you. How old is Marlene? I think she's about 85 now. Yep. And so the pictures that you've seen of her, or if you've seen my streams before that I showed pictures of her, um, she was in her, you know, late fifties, early sixties. Now she's, yeah, she's, uh, 80, 85, I believe. And, uh, she's lost a lot of weight. Uh, I have seen her a couple times in the past 17 years. And, uh, she used to just seem so, so larger than life. And now she's just this frail old lady. This is tiny, frail old lady. So evil people always live a long life. It seems. Yeah. Only the good die young. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me play this. Um, this is a little bit hard because I was just, I was just, um, kind of taking it all in and processing it. And uh, I'll share that with you guys. Right. Oh, that's okay. So I took a still of the church or I think I just 
screenshot it. The video. All right there I am. Boop. Wow. Um, yeah. So, wow. Wow. Um, that was it. Not sure how I feel. Um, I haven't been that close in 17 years. I mean, I go, I, if I have to go in this direction towards Vermont, I uh, just drive by it. I don't, you, I don't look, I usually don't look. Um, yeah. <sighs> Thank you all for uh, coming on this little journey with me, uh, facing the fear that I had. And uh, yeah, when Kelly gets here, there'll, there'll, there will be more, <laughs> there will be more. So stay tuned for that. And uh, talk to you soon. And that was another view that I took. Yeah, so I think that's it. And then I got pictures of uh, her babies and stuff to show you. So come out of that for now. Yeah. So <laughs> there it is. There it is. No hat? What? <laughs> Oh, and the go. No hat. We put them on last night with Cheryl, Lori, and Dustin. Oh, I saw some of your stream, but I didn't. No hat. Oh, did you have sailor hats? I did order some stuff. I'm going to show you guys as soon as it comes in. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Joel. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So. So we did it. That happened. We did it. Um, it's been a while. I didn't think I was going to do that, but it was okay. It was okay. So, uh, Sophia, do it at <clears throat> do it at your own time. Marlene will still be there to face. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if she's there, where she is. Um, we'll see. We'll we'll find out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it was wild to um, take video of all those buildings and uh, and share it with y'all, you know. So so you kind of have a reference, an idea of uh, what I've been talking about, you know. So okay, Anna, <clears throat> question: How many people lived in the first church? One second, just have some of my tea. So when I first, okay, this was in 1991, the beginning of the end of 1990, the beginning of 91 was when I first went to Door of Hope at just as um, a parishioner, I guess you'd say. And I went to a Bible study and then they had church on Sunday. So that church building, that's actually a church, a church building shaped like a church, right? At that point, I think Mar only Marlene lived there and she would she didn't work. So people were like helping her with the rent. She was doing Bible study in exchange for people to give her money to live there. So she, she was living there. And then, um, <clears throat> she started renting the parsonage next door and that's when she started having people move in. And some people would just go and stay in the, the church building upstairs. There was like two rooms and there was a spiral staircase. Um, I remember sometimes Duncan would stay there on a, on a weekend for a night or two, but you know, he had like a house, a job, a life before he moved to the old cold gin. And so that was about a year that she had, she had the church and the quote parsonage and all that. And then she was constantly having to move because she couldn't pay the rent and she was just a nomad in a way. Right. And she would use all these scriptures from like the Old Testament about like wandering in the wilderness or whatever. So I guess I don't mean to laugh, but we were wandering in the wilderness of Hartwellville, Vermont. Right. So when we started to rent the inn, there is 18 rooms, a lot of rooms. I think 17 or 18 rooms. I'll have to recount them, but I'm pretty, pretty sure that's how many rooms there were. So, uh, yeah, a lot of rooms. That's when she started recruiting, um, uh, what she called the young people. And that's when I joined the door of hope Sea org pretty much. Yeah. 
So, so I guess the answer uh, is one. Marlene lived in the church, the first church. Yeah. Lilith, comment. I'm in Springfield, Vermont, so it looks like an out. Yeah, that's not too far. Hour so north of your neck of the woods. Also, if you are an attack dog or a Jezebel, then I'm doomed. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch out. Yeah, I'm so scary. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it at all, at all. Love for Squirrel. Yay, member for one month. All right, I'm so glad you're here. Love for Squirrel. Uh, member for one month, you are incredibly strong. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I appreciate all of you. I really do. Oh my God, I have a new cup. Yeah. CJ, my never in avatar. Nice. Yay. I always do a little seal clap. Sorry, I get so excited. I have a new cup. Thank you so much, CJ. Awesome. Atkins in Texas. Thank you so much for the super sticker or the super, super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. Yeah, we all have our journey, right? We all have our things that we um, that we face, and and I'm glad I can face it with all of you. I love I love that you're here. Thank you, George Massey. Very strange to see such picturesque, picturesque, beautiful buildings and scenery, knowing the madness that goes on inside. Yeah, yeah. Um. It's so true because it's just so quaint and looks so, you know, romantic and historical and beautiful. And I just remember a lot of suffering in those buildings. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah. Especially the old coach in. Yeah. Um, but not in a cult anymore. We're not in a cult anymore. And I'm glad that it's pretty much died down to a handful of people on Sunday, I guess. I'm hoping that's the case. And if and when Marlene passes, I will have something to say if it starts growing again. I will. And um, I really want to know how it is that they can have no sign, no advertisement, no outreach, no nothing, and be completely tax-free for all those years. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be interesting if uh, Kelly does knock on the door. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be around the corner. I'm going to make sure she's okay. <laughs> I, I mean, she's in no danger. Um, just just some old ladies, most mostly. But I and I don't, you know, I don't want to. Um, I don't want anybody to end up homeless or anything. But I just feel like um, with all the suffering that's happened, um, I feel like they need to they need to obey the laws. They really should be obeying the laws. So, Anna, that song is amazing. Your sons are so talented. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. So, hey, <laughs> Mama Bear. <laughs> yeah. Still clap. Yes, I love getting a new new members. So much fun. Love it. Oh, someone said hi to Duncan. Is he in the chat? I don't know. I haven't seen him. I thought he was hiking. <laughs> Yeah, so this this is going to be great. I am so excited to see Kelly. I can't wait. I'm just so excited. It's going to be so much fun. CJ, my never in avatar, just joined one to see you seal clap. I, you know what? If you put it seal, even... Um, that's so funny. That's really sweet, though. Uh, YouTube actually has has a little seal. So if anybody wants, you don't have to join to see me seal clap, but I'm happy to either way. Uh, just to say thank you for sharing your story. Also, a trauma survivor. Yeah, heart goes out to you too. Just to say I appreciate your humor. Thank you, CJ. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a goofball. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here for it. Oh, Freezing Eagle. Is he gone on his hike yet? I haven't seen him. He left her. Oh, there he is. Hey, honey, where are you? <laughs> I saw the pictures that you you shared with me. Wonder if I could pull him up. I'll I'll set those up to show. He's got. Oh my god, guys! So he just got a new phone. Like I don't know, a few months ago, within a year, right, hun? And when we went in there, they were like, oh, it's Duncan. You can get a free phone, too. And he, he got the Samsung, like, their newest model. 
that has the best camera ever. And you know, like this, there's like five of these little camera thingies. So he's been playing with that. And he sent a picture of Mount Greylock, which is the highest point in Massachusetts. We got to take Kelly there. It's really, really beautiful, beautiful views. It's a lot of uh, nice mountain views around here. And uh, yeah, he took a picture of, what is that called? Like it's a tower, but it's like a, it has like a thing on it. So a planes don't hit it, the mountain. I forgot what they call that. But anyways, it's like a, like sort of like a lighthouse, but on a mountain. So. Oh, you tried that Samsung and hated it. I returned it for another. I don't blame you. No, I'm Apple all the way. I can't. Plus my kids all have Apple phones and I'm always like, how do I do this? So I figure I got to stick with Apple because then I can bug them about how to use it. I said, uh, comment. I have the Samsung phone and I take professional doll pics with it. Yeah. He's got some amazing pictures he's taken. Oh, talking about phones, Samsung 24. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's like a beacon. Yeah, yeah, it is. I wonder if I, hmm, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to set that up for tomorrow. But I want to show you some more pictures. I love this part. Keep sending them, guys, if you want to keep sending me some pictures. If you can try to put photos in, if you send me, if you send me an email, put a photo or photos in the, in the subject line. That way I can find them easier. Cause I know I've been missing some ranger fire tower. Yeah. It's like a fire tower. It's well, I think of a fire tower as one of those wooden ones, but it's like, it's like a monument. It's beautiful. It's like a tower. You can go in. Now I feel like I want to pull it up. You know what? Maybe I can do that. I won't see Duncan's pictures. Cause I don't know how to pull those up, but me uh hmm i could probably find some pictures no we lock images Let's see if i could make this bigger To see how I can make it bigger. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if you look up Mount Greylock, you can see some pictures, but for some reason it's not letting me make them bigger. So I will work on that. Hey, Joe. Great to see you. Joe DiCeppo. Hey there. Miss you. It's Vermont. Yeah, Vermont is beautiful. It really is. Hey, Tamra June, great to see you. Hey there. Uh, our tax the stupid horse. <laughs> in Montreal, they have them in Mount Royal, plus a massive cross at the top. Wow. Yeah, it has stairs inside. Yeah, good to see you, Joe. Glad you're here. Yes, that's my email. My brother, Foofy Friends. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, Stace Viria. Appreciate that. Okay, let me show you some of these. I'll get my list here. Then we'll go back to this. All right. The first picture is this is from this is from Debbie. Um, this is Scout, her doggy, little doggy Scout. Unfortunately, uh, Scout is uh, str is struggling, is suffering with liver disease. So she asked for uh, good vibe, positive vibes, good energies, prayers, whatever you do for uh, for Scout. So uh, mm, you're beautiful, Scout. Mm. So we're sending uh, all the all the loving vibes, all the good vibes. So that's to you and. To you, Debbie, and to Scout. Oh. oh, I hate when when fur babies suffer like that. Poor thing. And next is, this is from Caroline. We want to remember all the fur babies. This is uh, Buddy. 
She said, Buddy left us five years ago. So, Buddy's on the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, beautiful kitty. Beautiful. I love fluffy kitties. Uh, and next is... I gotta read it. Oh, I can't even read my own writing. This is Poochie Pie. <laughs> Alive and well. This is Caroline in Canada's uh, Poochie Pie. Look it. He's so cute. And she said he's a little devil. And there's there's Poochie Pie close up. Oh, he's got bright eyes. I love his little, little markings there. So cute. So cute. Okay. And next, you, I'm sure you've heard of Pamela SP Butterfly. She sent in a quilt, a picture of a quilt that she made. She designed it and put it together. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't even imagine. I can't sew to save my life or knit, but that's just gorgeous. And she designed it. I think I have another picture of it too. Yep. Look at the other side. So pretty, so pretty. It's just perfect. Okay. And next, this is, these are from, I guess, some more pictures from Fibro Gal. Uh, if you're in the chat, hi there. Uh, that's Fibro Gal with her little maple. That's maple uh, wrapped in a little blanket that she made. She said it's a V stitch uh, afghan that she made. Beautiful. Look at maple. Mm -hmm. Just want to snuggle her. Okay, and this is Ziva the Diva, the I V A. So Ziva the Diva, and she said definitely. Uh, she lives up to her name, Ziva. And then we got another kitty. This is also from Fibrogal. Look at look at those eyes and the markings. This is Lily. Lily was rescued in Cape Town in 2010, and she said she's Lily is 14 years old. Or just look at those eyes. Can't get over it. And next is from uh, Eisen. This is a view. I think she said she took it the other day from, is that from your backyard, Eisen? That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I want to say she lives in Germany, but I'm not positive. So if you can let me know, look at that. Beautiful. And I got one more picture. And this these were featured at Squirrel Fest this past weekend. Um, a lot of our crafting friends from Coffee Cults and Crafts Facebook group rallied together and sent things to to the the Squirrel Squad or whatever you call it in in uh, the the squirrel the squirrels in Austin, Texas. They had a Squirrel Fest there, and look at the little squirrels that Stacy Tom's made. <laughs> I can't. I bet Pearl Snappy loved those. I have to ask her. Uh, how they did. So thank you so much, everybody, for the pictures. Thank you, Stacey Toms, for sending those in. I failed. I couldn't I couldn't get uh, my act together quick enough, but I'm so glad that so many of the crafters rallied. So appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so, so there we have it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so good to see you all. Oh, you sent some pics to my email. I don't know if I can show them, honey, because I can't blow them up that uh, big enough. So, well, you'll be for you'll be first tomorrow. How's that, honey? <laughs> Duncan wants to show pictures, so maybe we'll have him on again soon. He's our expert, so he could be our expert, you know, uh, photographer, something like that, right? So, I know I want to scroll too. I know. I love it. I know they're so cuddly. Maple, so cute. I can't. Right? Right? Mad quilting skills. You know, amazing. And, oh, will you and Kelly do a meetup while she's in New England? We, I could talk to her about it. I was thinking, um, I, I don't know the, I know we're going to, Try to spend one day in Bennington. I don't know if that's um, drivable for people. Um, we can talk about it. We can talk about setting aside a day. Probably, um, I don't want to say for sure, but I'm thinking um, first half of next week, like either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those days, we can try to meet up with some people. 
So that would be awesome. So I will let you know. And if anyone lives within driving distance to Southern Vermont, um, drop me an email and uh, we'll see what we can do. So Mount Greylock, 3,500 feet, uh, high for New England. Yeah, it's the highest point in Massachusetts. And there's, um, I've never hiked this. Duncan's hiked this a bunch of times is uh, Mount Washington. And that's probably, I don't know if that's the highest point in New England. I think it probably is. It really has its own weather too. But compared to where you live, Joel, this is nothing. These are like hills compared to the Rocky Mountains. The Appalachians are just like hills. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, okay, everyone. This was so much fun. I will, uh, I'll try not to be a stranger. I, I took two two consecutive days off, but uh, I'll try to be on tomorrow. And um, then Thursday, I'll see if I can live stream from this new phone. We pick up Kelly. That'd be really fun. I'll definitely try to do that. And when she's here, I know we'll be on together. We'll do, we'll do some stuff and it'll be really fun. Oh, Kate D, did I miss my fur babies or you didn't get the email? I think I did end up getting it. I'll, I'll have to check again, but I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if I put them up. I will do my best to, to follow up on that, Kate D. Thank you. Oh, comment. The sunrise picture is taken with the Samsung. There we go. Awesome. Oh, and you're in North Central Mass. Okay. All right. Is that Franklin County? I'm trying to think what county that would be. Yeah, that seems drivable. And, uh, yeah, I have a, a friend that is in, um, I think it's Franklin County that I met her on here. So her name is Jane. All right, everyone. Okay. I will definitely, uh, see you guys very soon and, uh, I'll say bye for now. Have a great day. Bye. <music>